Hello, this is an excerpt from my conversation with Jennifer Rose. To listen to the entire episode, just head to the show notes and all the details will be there. So what's your intuition? Is it your gut sense? Is it your heart sense? Is it your inner knowing? Is it everything? (laughs) It's all of that. (laughs) It's all of that. And it's, and it's also spirit, your own soul essence working through you all the time. Cause we're not disconnected from that. You know, we kind of feel like we are, but we're not. Um, so we're all naturally intuitive beings and we've all had experiences where say we think of something and then it happens or a person and then they call, um, but you can learn to de- you know, develop that over time to where it's much more increased, you know? And so definitely somebody who is highly sensitive or empathic already has that gift of clairsentience, which is the ability to feel, to like feel like the emotional energy and spaces and with people as well. Um, and then we have, um, you know, our clairvoyance, which is our, um, many people have heard that word. Um, and I'd like to show you like how easy it really is, is like, so if I asked you, say, picture a box of cookies in your mind, okay, could you picture that? Or yes. picture a rose in your mind. Would that yes. be easy? You're using your clairvoyance. It's your I can mind's do both, eye. girl. I love cookies. I'm familiar yeah, with what they look I know. like. <laughs> <laughs> so you've already used your clairvoyance. The only difference is when we're doing psychic work or mediumistic work is that spirit is kind of putting pictures in for us to give us information versus our mind then creating that picture. We're getting those pictures like from spirit, either mediumistically or, you know, from the guides or we're, um, we're, you know, reading with the energy of the person psychically. And then we get the, the pictures that way. Okay. Um, with Claire audience, that's our ability to have that inner hearing. And so if I, if you ever had a song stuck in your mind before over and over again, have you ever had that happen where a, a piece of music was stuck in your head and you couldn't um, get rid yes. of it? <laughs> okay. Many times. So you're using your Claire audience, right? Um, and so then the only difference when we're doing intuitive work is that that's going to come from a different source. It usually kind of comes through the imagination portion of the, the brain, but it's coming from a spiritual source and they're giving us that piece of information so that we can um, um, understand it and how it relates to the client that we're working with, right? Yes. So we might get clear audience. We might hear songs that might be connected with the person. For instance, a loved one of them and them have a special song that they shared and maybe we hear it um, or we hear the name of the person or we hear um, other phrases or thoughts or things like that, that we hear using our clear audience. Um, and then we talked about their clear sentience. Um, so we feel... We might feel emotional energy, physical, physical energy. So when I'm connecting with a loved one, I may briefly feel like um, health issues they had or like um, parts of my body that are contributing to how they passed, um, personality characteristics of them or like how tall, like I feel really tall, but because that's because the spirit person was really tall. Right. And then that piece moves on and then we go to the next piece and all of this can be happening all at once. So it's really, really fun. And then sometimes you just know things. So if you've ever, um, um, you know, been looking for the answer to something and then just pops in and you have that finally you remembered it, finally that aha moment, Mm -hmm. or if you've ever worked on a paper back in college and you had to stop and you had to kind of like, you know, be quiet for a minute so you could get the next few words or lines to come mm-hmm. to write. You're using your like clear audience, which is kind of like the, where the information just sort of drops in right. to your awareness. Like you just know it, but you don't quite know how you got it. You were not necessarily with other clear. It's almost like it just like popped in through the crown chakra and there it is for you. So that's kind of like what channeling is as well, where it's just kind of coming in. They all have the ability to do things, these things, but we can practice them and increase them and enhance them. <laughs>